All right, you guys, today I'm going to teach you how to argue better. That's right. I'm going to teach you about claim evidence and reasoning and how to use it properly in your writing. In today's video, I'm going to define claim evidence and reasoning for you. I'm also going to identify how to use them properly in your writing, and then I'm going to show you a couple examples to help you. So let's jump right in with our claim. A claim can also be called a thesis statement, but both of them are a response to some sort of prompt or question. They're your statement of understanding. They're your stance. They are what you want to argue in your paper. Therefore, they're like the outline or backbone of your writing. Now, as I stated in my previous video, how to write an introduction paragraph, the claim or thesis will normally go at the end of your introduction paragraph. You do want to make sure that it's a statement, not a question, and that it's very clear to your reader. You also want to make sure it's something that can be supported by evidence and that it doesn't sound like an opinion. This means that it shouldn't start with something like, I think, I believe, or I feel. You want it to sound like a statement of fact, because that's what you're trying to prove. Okay, so here's an example of a simple claim. Dogs are better than cats. When writing argument papers, I usually refer to this as a thesis statement, and I ask my students to include not only their claim, but their main points, usually three of them. And I provide an example of this as well. Now that you've made that bold claim, you gotta back it up. So here you've gotta have evidence. Evidence is simply the information or data that supports your claim. It's usually numbers or observations, or in my reading class, we use quotations from the text. It is not an opinion, and you have to cite it. So now that I've made my claim that dogs are better than cats, I've got to back it up with evidence. So I've used a piece of data from a study. You'll note it's a fact, it's not an opinion, and I cited it. Last but certainly not least is the reasoning. This is one of the most important parts of claim evidence reasoning. Here you explain your evidence. You identify how the evidence supports your claim. Here's an example of what your reasoning might sound like. Usually this part is a little bit longer in your essay because you have to connect the dots for your reader. If you don't have reasoning, then you can't prove your claim. This is why it's one of the most important parts of your essay, so don't forget it. And here's an example of it all combined together into one paragraph. Although usually I require multiple paragraphs in an argument paper, but this just gives you an example of what it might sound like altogether. For good measure, here's one more example about one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time, Brett Favre. Again, ideally you would have this in a multi-paragraph essay with your claim slash thesis in your introduction and your evidence and reasoning throughout the body paragraphs, but I wanted to give you one more example of CER in action. So there you have it guys. Make sure that your claim is a statement and that you can support it with evidence. Make sure that that evidence is filled with facts and data, not opinions. And of course, bring it all together with your reasoning, which explains how your evidence supports your claim.